Well, good morning to you both. The San Jose Sharks had a very small but very special fan crowd over the weekend. Their families got to come out and watch them play in person for the first time since March 8th of 2020. Now, tonight, about 500 fans get to come into the arena, fewer than the SAP Center technically can allow, but they're going to increase capacity depending on how it goes tonight. Our fans have to show proof that they are fully vaccinated or they have to show a negative COVID test. And no surprise here, there are mask and social distance requirements. Now, in San Francisco, the Chase Center was alive with excitement as as many as 2,000 fans got to watch the Warriors in person Friday night. 3,200 fans on Saturday night. Fans had to sit in pods with social distance and could not eat in the stands. Some fans also had to take rapid COVID tests on the spot as they arrived there because their vaccine cards weren't clear. We had the shot, yeah. but the only problem is, like with mine, there's like a sharpie in, so it looks a little bit different. They forgot to put the date on mine. I took it a month ago, and there's no way to clarify that. How the Warriors win was obviously the icing on the cake. We're hoping for the same when the puck drops at 7.30 here at the Shark Tank. But with more proof of vaccination uh, situations arising, that Johnson & Johnson vaccine could be more appealing for folks because you are fully vaccinated two weeks after your final dose. So with a Johnson & Johnson vaccine, that means you could be fully vaccinated within two weeks. It's back on the market. Our Bay Area counties are going to start using it again. And we're going to talk more about that coming up in the next half hour. In San Jose, Chris Sanchez, today in the Bay.